guest is an acting and singing sensation who, with a little help from her fairy godmother, changes from an ordinary peasant into a beautiful princess. Take a look. Please welcome Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Is that a Hi. gift for me? Yes, this is um my glass slipper. The glass slipper. It's that I didn't wear. You did not wear this one. I didn't wear that. It's too small. I was going to say, is this your shoe size? Because I'm like Amazon woman compared to this. No. What size is this? I think that's a five and a half. What size shoe are you? A nine. Rock on, sister friend. Me too. Give me a high My five on the nine. Small. They do My look small. Like Everything on you looks good. Can I say you're a beautiful young woman? Oh, thank you. You are, and you're so great in this. Thank you very much. Give me this. You have lipstick on your teeth. So, there you go. Okay. Thank little you, lipstick you, on the teeth. Thank you. That's all right. Well, that's so sweet. Thank, were you excited when they said you were doing this? Yes, I was very excited. Because wasn't Whitney originally going to play Cinderella? Yes, yeah, she was. So when she gave me the um, call, I was like, I thought you were going to play Cinderella. So I was really excited and screaming all around the house. I, I was really happy that I'm a part of this whole cast. Yeah, it's a very talented cast. Thank you. Had you did you know everyone before? Did you know? No, Whitney? I didn't. Know. I, I knew, Whitney. You knew Whitney. Whitney and I had a um, past relationship. You know, yeah. she's followed my career and everything. But um, I didn't know the rest of the cast. I met Paolo at the audition when yeah. he was auditioning for The Prince. Boy, I saw him in rehearsal. He's not only a handsome young man, what a fine singer he is. I know, he's great. He's he, great. He was on Broadway, right? And yeah, he was on Broadway as an understudy for one of the cast members in uh, The King and I. The King and I. Yeah. And were you nervous when you met him? Yes, I was very nervous because he was so good and so handsome. And I was blushing the whole time at the auditions. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> Yeah. I read in the research notes that you have a crush on some, like, like, 20 people. I have a lot of crushes. Give me your crushes right now, Brand. Where well, um, I'm really, really starting to really like Maxwell. I like Maxwell oh, the singer. Oh, he was good. He was here on our show. Yeah, and I like Leonardo DiCaprio. Very good. Not been on our show. Oh, yeah. and <laughs> I like um, Sean Puffy Combs. I like his style a lot. Isn't he good, the Puff Daddy? He's he's really good. I you like ever him. work with him? Yes, I worked with him, and he can't even be in the studio because I'm so starstruck and nervous to sing in front of him. Are you kidding? <laughs> yes, I'm serious. But he produced part of your new record? No, he he's going to produce a couple of songs when he gets off his tour. Really? Yeah. Have you met him before? Yeah, I've met him. He couldn't even... I met him, he comes in and out of the studio. He doesn't even stay in there. Now, are you always starstruck by people? I am. Actually, I'm, I'm nervous sitting here right next to you. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. With <laughs> me? Brandy, it's yes. only me. Look, no, have a cooch ball. What do you, you want an M&M? &M? There's yes. M&Ms in yeah, there. Sure. That makes everybody feel better on the yeah. show. It's always surprising to me people be nervous for me because it's only me. Mine. So, to, well, do you ever think of yourself that you're like Big Brandy Star? You know, you think you're Brandy, whatever. Yeah, I'm like a regular person. Yeah, so you think, why would people be nervous, you know? Right. I wonder, like, why do people want my autograph and why do people want to take pictures of me? Like, it was a lot of people outside of the, the thing going, Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. I was like, okay. That's right. <laughs> a lot of people down there going, where's Whitney? <laughs> Please. <laughs> we think we can cajole her to come over, you know what I mean? She doesn't feel well today. Did she show up every day at the shooting? Uh-huh. All right, I'm just checking. Don't do oh, it. I just wanted to check. I'm just Don't asking. Do that to Listen, I'm just asking. <laughs> She's going to be so mad. But I figure if I get her really mad, she'll run over from the hotel. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Whitney. Yeah, Come there you over. go. Come on over. Come All right. On. I want to say that you are so great that... Whit, bring it on. You're so great in, you're so great in this. And Thank you're going to you. sing for us later on in the show, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's kind of different singing for me. Yeah? Because I'm so used to the R&B pop thing, you know. Right. It's a whole nother. Did you grow up with Broadway music, listening to the um, show? I listen to a lot of music, like classical and everything, so I'm kind of into it, but it's kind of hard to sing, so yeah. I hope I don't crack today. Listen, I heard you in rehearsal. You were amazing. Thank you. And I met your mom, very beautiful woman. Yeah, is she in the entertainment nice. industry? What no, she? she's, she's my manager. Oh, she is? She keeps everything in line, keeps all my schedules together and stuff. And did she encourage you to become a performer when you were a little kid? 
she encouraged me because I wanted to do it, and you know, so she stuck behind me. She doesn't trust anybody, so she's like my main, my main person, my best friend. She's yeah, a how's great your mom. brother doing? He's great, Ray J. He's so cute. Yeah. I wish he was here. He told me to tell you hi. He was great on the show. So, so yeah. adorable. I hear you guys went out to dinner with Janet Jackson. Yeah, we did actually a long time ago though, and Ray J was trying to hit on Janet. Do you have a boyfriend? Do you do this? He knows he's trying to hit on Janet. So really? Like, Ray J, shut up. Now you you love Janet Jackson, right? I do. Actually, I was I was Janet Jackson one Halloween. You were? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you wear? Um, I had on the little Rhythm Nation hat and the you know the black outfit with the one earring thing. You know, right. I thought I was all fly and stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell her that when you were eating dinner? No, I didn't tell her that. I didn't want her. No. <laughs> I didn't tell her that. I was too nervous. Yeah, because I told Bette Miller I used to do her in for show and tell. Really, what she said? She was like, you know, oh, you're dating me, you're aging me. What are you doing wrong? <laughs> but I, I did. I used to go into show and tell and do all her songs. Really? Her and, and Barbara Streisand. You Most like kids it? were bringing in like Barbie dolls, and I'm going, you know, people, <laughs> people who need people. When I do this, Brandy, I have like nine chins. Look. <laughs> I just noticed that the monitor, it's not very appealing. <laughs> Where'd you grow uh, yeah. up? I grew up in L.A. I grew oh, you up did? In, yeah. Why did I think you were from New York? I'm you... not from New York. I keep trying to get your accent, because I, you know, I try to do impressions. Yeah, can you do good. a little? No, I can't do a little. I'm not very good at impressions. Can you do anyone? No. I'm still working. <laughs> really? I can't you do just anyone. just keep practicing. Yet. I keep practicing. Yeah. Good, because if you could do Whitney Houston, we could pretend that she was here. <laughs> It's all right. She might show up. We got 32 minutes left. She could, <laughs> 32 minutes with backwards cap, sweatshirt, run on down. Give you know. me a Vicks vapor rub. Everything will be fine. <laughs> well, I wanted you to stay here. We're going to have Bernadette come out. Yes. And then we're going to have you perform okay. with Paolo, who yeah. is, is really talented. It's, it's really a great... And I'm so happy that Disney, are, they're doing these movies again. And right, the, the, the Sunday night thing. I remember Sundays. Well, you're probably too young to sit there, remember the... Disney sh uh, every Sunday. Yeah, night. I don't remember that, no. but I, I hear about it a lot. How old are you? I'm 18. You're 18. I'm 18, and I got married in the movie. I felt so special. Really? That's yeah. good. You're, you're not getting married in real life. No. No. <laughs> All right. Rings on my fingers. So I, I remember there was a basketball guy here telling us he had a crush on you. Kobe Bryant. That's him. He had He's a so cute. Yeah. Um, me and Kobe are friends. Kobe and I, Mom, are friends. And uh, yeah. um, we talk a lot, and, you know, he's cool. Yeah, you're friends, though. Yeah, we're just yeah. friends. You're 18. You got a lot of time, Brandy. Yeah. Do you know Jason Alexander is in the show, too, right? He's in, in, in Cinderella. The, yeah, he's in Cinderella. Do you know oh, that was... if you married Jason Alexander, your name would be Brandy Alexander? Yes. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> Little piece of trivia. All right, so tell them to stay tuned because you're going to sing later. Tell them. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Stay tuned for a performance from Brandy. Next, Bernadette Peters. Excellent job, Brandy. <laughs> performers who can light up a stage like our next guest this Sunday. She turns in a wickedly entertaining performance in Cinderella. Take a look. You're common, Cinderella. Your mother was common, and so are you. Oh, you can wash your face and put on a clean dress, but underneath you'll still be common. That a prince would even consider taking you for his bride. <laughs> it's laughable. My father. Your father was weak. He spoiled you rotten. He filled your head with silly thoughts and dreams that'll never come true. Oh, is she mean. Ooh. Please welcome Bernadette Peters. hard being mean to her. You were so mean. But you would say, come on, come on, bring it on. Bring it on, Bernadette, bring it on. <laughs> you're, you're great in it. Thank you. You were great and you were evil. I was evil. Was it tough? Did you, because you don't um, usually play the mean one. I don't one. usually play evil, but um, you have to just throw caution to the wind and don't judge yourself and <laughs> this little faith, but you know, it yeah. was all right, it was all right. Yeah. It's fun to be mean once in a while, you know, Rosie? I wouldn't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm the queen of nice. Yes, you are. <laughs> queen of nice. <laughs> now, the costumes in that show. Oh, Ellen Mirajnik is a genius. Great. We all looked so beautiful, and they were just, weren't they great? They were amazing. She's amazing. little, And this was a whole, a whole shoe theme, actually. Really? Being that it was Cinderella, yes. Yeah. The show, I started with hobbling down cobblestone streets in my tight little shoes, and it was all about shoes and discomfort. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And did you, you put on the glass slipper. Did it fit you, the size Well, small? there were three slippers. There yeah. was the teeny tiny one that I think you saw right. just now. Yeah. There was the medium one that fit me, uh, and then there was the one that fit uh, Brandy. Yeah, but I think it was four. It was, one was real glass. One oh. was the real yeah, glass slipper, right. I think. And when I put it on, I broke it. You did? I broke it. So actually, in the show, when you watch the show, we're all putting on the left shoe on the right foot. Because that's, and you'll see that the foot was like this and it points a little bit, a little cock <laughs> so. But that's the slipper. Were you thrilled to get to do a musical on TV? Because I've seen you on stage so many times. Ah. You, there is no one like you on stage, Bernadette, oh, I must thank say. You. Rumors thank you're coming you. back to Broadway. Are we allowed to well, say we, that show? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We'll we don't see. want to say what no, show it yet. is. It sounds like <laughs> Fanny on the Run, oh, but it's not. <laughs> And uh, I don't know, I've heard rumors that you're coming. I hope you do, because I love to see you on stage. You're amazing. I'll be back in something. You I'm will. pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Well, good, because... Now, isn't it wonderful to get to do a musical for TV, though? It's great, and, and I think um, a musicals, are, a musicals are so wonderful anyway. And to have it on television where everybody can see it in their own home, I think it's, uh, it's a pretty great thing. So I hope this is just the beginning of, of, of even more of them. I hope so, too, because yeah. it's the, the greatest American art form, the yeah. American musical theater. Yeah. And how about you in Goodbye Girl with Martin Short? Oh, I love Marty Short. Is he the funniest man on the planet? Yeah. He is. I, no one makes me laugh as much as Martin yeah. Short. I mean, he lives to make you laugh. He lived, he, he just, he just is joy and full of, so, and he was like my rock during the show. He also is like, knows what he's doing all the time, was the rock of the show, did it all, the same every night. And I was the one that was always changing and changing. And one night he comes in and once in a while, like three times, he would forget his lines. And he'd look, and I would get, then I would get hysterical because he was my rock. And he'd look at me, and he'd like start doing a monologue, and he'd start saying things like, "And then I came in, and I don't know where I am, or what I'm saying." <laughs> and then I'd, I'd start laughing because, because he was to see him lose control like that was so. I have to go. Okay, now I say this, and he says this, and, and I'd roll my eyes, and then I'd lead him back into it. But I was gone for the rest of the show yeah. because he was like up. Everyone who works with him has to wear depends. <laughs> Because he just makes you laugh that hard he that does. you can't stop. He does. He I love him. I love up. him to death. He's Have great. you seen any of the new shows open? Sideshow, did you see? I haven't. I heard it's great. It's did very you see good. It? Yes, yeah. very I good. I can't wait to see Scarlet it. Pimpernel opening did you, soon. Did you see that one yet? No, I'm going to see that opening night. Lion King, have you seen? No, not yet. I've been Chris right Montan did the music. Who did the music for Cinderella? Really? So I hear that Lion, Lion King is going to be the show to sweep the Tonys this year. Really? I heard from some pretty inside people that that's a show that's amazing. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, you... I've been away. I've Wait been in the home. <laughs> no. no, I've been doing them. Um, uh, I was working, I'm working with all the children now, with Leanne Rhymes. I just did another movie for television. We love her. Yeah, Isn't she, she talented? Loves, she loves Leanne Rhymes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, she's, I think, as young as you. I mean, yeah, she's... I think she's younger than she's you. Younger she just turned you. 15. 15? She sells so many records. My lord. <laughs> 15. <laughs> And She's going to be on our show November 6th. What are you doing with her? I play, it, she has a book that's out right now, a little kind of uh, Christmas story. And I play um, a country western singer with her. I have my country western fingernails on, which were even longer. They were about like an inch and a half. I cut them. Right. Wow. And, um, and I'm actually, there's a twist on the end of it, which I won't tell you now. I'll wait till you see it. You'll like it. You like a little Reba McIntyre thing going on there? Exactly. Yeah. Are you, you a big know. fan of the country music? I love country music. Yeah, Winona. Yes, why not? The rocks. <laughs> why not? There you go, Bernadette. Give me a high five. On that. Yeah. I know you're very good friends with Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, yes. We're having a Mary Tyler Moore, I, did you hear? I know. That yeah. woman, she wrote and she thinks she can beat me on Mary Tyler Moore trivia. There's no way. That's what I say to her. Bring it on. Bring it on. That's what she said through that. She sent a tape 30 minutes, and every time she'd ask a question, she'd look at the camera and go, Bring it on, <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah, so you guys are good friends. You got married at her we house. We got married at her house. Isn't that sweet? And yes, it was a beautiful wedding. It was a beautiful day. We had, we even had the, we all love animals, Mary and I and our husbands. So I had the, we had the dog in the wedding party. And mm -hmm. <laughs> who was just adorable. And he came down the aisle 
on a, with the, he had baby's breath um, around his neck. Oh. And he had a, a satin leash. And Michael's friend, who had sun, came, brought him down the island, he had sunglasses on. Everybody kept saying, that was so nice you had that blind man in the <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I'm thrilled. I, I loved seeing you in this. I really did. Thank Cinderella, you. it's so wonderful. It's on Sunday night. It's Sunday night at 7 o'clock, everyone. Um, and you should definitely watch it. And you're going to have little Brandy sing. Would you like to uh, stick around and watch that? I'd love to. Uh, they, they're, they're so romantic, this couple. They, sh they, they sure really are. are. And you know what? They don't sound bad either. They sound great. They sure do. We're going to have Brandy and Paolo Montalban singing from Cinderella right after this break. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Because you're beautiful from Cinderella, Brandy, and Paolo Montalban. delicious in this movie. Oh my goodness, thank you. You're really wonderful. I think you're going to be a big, big superstar. We'll see you about that. Well, I think you will. Now, your name, Paolo Montalban. Paolo Montalban, yes. No re in relation to no Ricardo? No relation to Ricardo. Can you say Corinthian leather for me? <laughs> Real Corinthian leather. Very good, Paolo. Very nice. So where are you from? 
I'm from the Philippines. The Philippines. Mm -hmm. And you speak a little Filipino? I uh, speak very, very little Filipino. I can understand it. Do you want to learn something today? Sure. What would you okay. like to teach me? Uh, let me see if I have it in here. I don't know. Just in case. Well, actually, it's uh, uh, Tommy. Tommy. Naririnig mo ako. Naririnig mo ako. There you go. Something like that. Which means Tom, Which leave means, Nicole? No, that means... <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It means, Tommy, can you hear me? Oh! want to be an actor when you were a little kid you always wanted to be an actor um i i never knew i wanted to be an actor uh i did a production of jesus christ superstar when i was in third grade but uh who'd I, you play uh, i played one of the jesuses there were five of us because it was a long play all <laughs> oh, right yeah, you, you know. were only little yeah, you, you know. <laughs> yeah, tag team jesus right, there you go all right. <laughs> i'm out you're in go exactly that's exactly it uh, and so that you got the bug when you were first doing that? Oh, well, well I, I got a feel for it, and then and then I did it in high school, and I did some of it in college, and I just I I had to do it. I was doing pre med and psychology in college, and it just wasn't doing it for me. And so. what did your parents think? Pre med, you dropping out to be an actor? Uh, well, they tried to enroll me in real estate classes after yeah. that. Really? Uh, yeah. And did they see you on Broadway first? When was your first show, King and I? Uh, my first Broadway show was yes. The King and I, and. Um, uh, I, I still remember opening night when, you know, because all I did in the show was carry a torch in these, like, red diaper things, you know. Right. And, and I, I walk out the stage door, and my mother's face is there, tears streaming down her eyes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the most beautiful thing. He said, Mama, why are you crying? And she says, because you're on Broadway. Oh, how sweet is yeah. that? And you didn't even have a line, did you? Exactly. No. <laughs> You got to go on. You were the understudy. I was for the, the understudy. King? No, I was the understudy for the um, for Lunta, who's the uh, the romantic, a uh, young male uh, interest. Who's uh, Tip Tom's boy? Tip Tom, Top Tim. Top yeah. Tim's, Tiny Tim's boyfriend. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. Okay. You had a big solo number. Uh, yeah. What yeah, was the big song? It was uh, I Have Dreamed and uh, We Kiss in a Shadow. That's right. Yeah. You have a beautiful voice, and you're a very handsome young fellow. Well, thank you very much. I have a question. Did you meet Whitney Houston when you did this? Film? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did uh, you enjoy her? I, uh, what I saw her, yeah. She was very nice. Yeah, right. she was very always nice. there, always on time. Enough of that. Enough of that. Yes. All right. <laughs> Were you a little intimidated to meet the legendary Broadway Bernadette Peters and the amazingly talented new Brandy? Yes, yes, I was. Were you? Yes, I was. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I grew up listening to this this lady's stuff. He and, was uh, divine. He yeah. was. This, he's he, he's just the way he is. He's just like a prince. Right. He brought me flowers mm -hmm. the first day I met him. He brought you he flowers. He brought me flowers and he gave me candy for my voice. Aww. <laughs> what kind of candy? Just curious. <laughs> Just, you know, what kind of... It's the, the delicious Grether's pastilles. Oh, yeah. yeah. He gave me Personally, those. they're not a favorite no? of mine. What do you like? Well, I don't mind a snicker every now and then. <laughs> a little Twix bar, Reese's &M. Pieces, and M&M's. Not a bad thing. We have Altoids. Right there, if you May like an Altoid. Altoid. Sure, have an Altoid. Delicious. Not that you have bad breath. Oh, thank you. Hello. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, you know what? The show is absolutely amazing. You should all watch it. It is Cinderella. It is on this Sunday on ABC, and uh, it's on at 7 o'clock. Would you like to go out with a little song? Sure. What do you want to do? A little Broadway something? What, Just ad-lib. Bernadette, what do you think? Ooh, all of us do no. a little? What do we know? Look at Brandy going, don't ask me. Don't ask me. <laughs> I was going to say we should do a Whitney Houston song to just yeah. bring our essence here to the show, <laughs> but forget it. And we don't know any. We know. I always love you. All right, let's do a little of that, John. You know that? All right. You guys, what key? God knows. You start, I'll join it. Pretend Whitney Houston was here. She probably would have sang this if she showed up. What started? She did. Uh, okay, ha go ahead. Someone's okay, go ahead, Bernadette. If you go. That one? Yeah. Huh? I if you love. Are we doing the chorus? One. Oh, okay. So.